welcome to Madison. Uh, I'm one of the new professors who just joined the department. Actually, I joined this year, so less than two months ago. I know a little bit more than the campus than you do. But, uh, okay. So I'm a database professor, uh, so I will tell you about the database group here in Wisconsin. So the database group here has a very long history of success. Uh, as some of you might know, the relational database concept was proposed in the 1970s by uh, Dr. Agricola. And this marks the start of the relational database research. And very soon after that, in 1976, Professor David Wood started the data group uh, in Wisconsin. And uh, he has worked here for 32 years before he retired in 2008. And for the last 40, more than 40 years, there has been many great professors in the database group. And you can see some of these people have already retired, and some of them are working in big companies now, like Google and Microsoft leading big teams. Okay. So uh, besides success of faculty members, we also have a history of student success. Um, students who graduated from the database group have become professors at Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon, um, Cornell, EPFL, Michigan, among many other great schools. And some of the students went to industry, work for Microsoft, Google, and other companies, and become really successful there. So today we have five faculty members in the group. Uh, we have Professor Al Haiduan, uh, Harris Kutras, Jing Ash Patel, Theo uh, Rakitsinas, and myself, uh, Shang Yao Yu. And we also have some affiliates, including Professor David DeWitt and Jeff Nelson, who both used to be professors in the data group. And we also have some friends working in the industry. Uh, right now, uh, the data group has more than 30 students, making it one of the biggest groups uh, in the department. Uh, so in the Wisconsin database group, we work on everything related to data management, all the way from hardware to software, from theory to practice, and across the entire data pipeline, from data ingestion all the way to learning insights out of the data. And in the next few slides, uh, I will give you a brief summary of what the professors are working on. And if you're, if you're interested in some of these topics, please come to talk to us. Even if we are not on your schedule, uh, you can just come to the fourth floor in the CS building, and all of our offices are on that floor. So it should be pretty easy to find us. Okay, so Professor Jim Nash Cartel works on uh, learning insights from data at bare metal speed. Uh, and there are two major goals of his research. The first one is uh, to build a converged data for platform for all kinds of data analytics. So today, when we talk about data analytics, the data may come from all different kinds of formats, like relational data, graph data, document data, data warehousing, uh, streaming data. But today, we have all kinds of data analytical engines for each of them, which means uh, if a programmer wants to analyze multiple data format, he needs to like put up maybe five different services and then uh, be able to run all of them. So what uh, uh, Professor Patel is working on is to build a unified framework so that uh, the user only needs to learn it once and be able to analyze all of these uh, data formats efficiently. Uh, another goal of this research is to not only be able to analyze the data, but also run that at very fast speed. So uh, what this requires you is a lot of knowledge in the underlying hardware, and sometimes even redesigning the hardware, how software hardware will design. And the key insight here is to develop a domain-specific language uh, that can capture the feature of all of these uh, data structures and then build an uh, application on top of that and the system below that. Okay, so uh, Professor Anhai Guan works on end-to-end -end systems for data integration and also data science. So many of you might have heard the data science uh, word. This is very hot topic these days. Uh, maybe not as popular as machine learning, but it's, it's still very popular. <coughs> so uh, entity matching is one of the, the most important problems here. So it's about having multiple different data sets, but finding out what entry in the data sets correspond to the same real-world entity. 
So you can imagine your record is in the school database and maybe uh, in some other databases, and you're interested in figuring out which one corresponds to the same person. And this is really important in practice. It's also a very, uh, a very hard research topic. And besides developing these uh, algorithms, Dr. Guan or Professor Guan also focused on building end-to-end -end systems uh, so that you can work on all the problems in, uh, in, across the entire pipeline uh, so that end users will be able to use the system. Uh, and then we have Professor Theo Rakasinas, who works on machine learning systems for data enrichment. So his research really at the boundary of machine learning and database systems. So if you're interested in both worlds, please uh, make sure to talk to him. Uh, and one of his projects is called HoloClean, which is a machine learning system for data enrichment. And uh, this research spans across machine learning, statistics, uh, system building. So it is, a, it is a very interesting topic. And also, uh, Theo is working on multimodal knowledge-based construction, uh, where he wants to build a, a knowledge repository based on different forms of data, including tax data, images, tables, etc. <coughs> okay, so Professor Paris Kutrius works on the theory side of databases. Um, so virtually, virtually all the databases run on parallel hardware today, uh, where we have CPU, we have a distributed system, or for GPU, which is all, all parallel, but we still don't have a very good understanding of the theory behind parallel programming. Uh, and uh, uh, Professor Kutris is focusing on uh, ways to understand the model, the parallel model behind computation for database queries. And another project that he's working on is data pricing. So today, uh, data is becoming a commodity like everything else you buy. So you can put your data set online, and people can sell their data set, people can buy your data set, all of that. And it's a very important problem is to figure out what's the best way to price these data sets. You have to know what's the value of the data set in order to set the right price. And we also want to do this in a way such that we have some formal guarantees. And finally, this is myself. Uh, I work on everything uh, in database related to new hardware and cloud architecture. Um, so I work on the bottom layer of database systems which talks to hardware. And it's actually a great time to work on this topic today because, uh, because of the, all the new hardware that showed up in recent years. So in terms of computation, we have, uh, we have multi-core processors with the core count keep increasing. We have GPU, which has very high computation power. We also have some FPGA accelerators. In terms of storage, we have uh, not a lot of memory, which is this new type, uh, like Intel Optane storage, which is quite addressable and also for tolerant, uh, is persistent. We have high bandwidth memory. Uh, in terms of network, we have RDMA network, which is much faster in terms of latency and throughput compared to traditional Ethernet. And there is also a smart NIC, which allows you to use a limited computation within the network card. And then finally, in the cloud, uh, today we have resource data aggregation. We also have auto scaling, like serverless computation. Okay, all of these things didn't exist years ago. Uh, but these days, partly because of the slowly and more slower, because of the, the growing uh, demand of the computation, we have all of these hardware, and then the question is, how do we use this hardware to build a new data systems? Because all the traditional data systems were built assuming single core or disk based as so now. So this will be a very exciting future to have. Okay, so uh, finally, uh, yeah, as a summary, uh, we work on everything um, uh, in the data, the data management world. And uh, uh, one more thing I want you to know is there will be a handout with database students this afternoon in room 3310 from 1.30 to 4 p.m. So please go there and talk to the students to learn about their research. Thank you very much. <laughs>